we want to use LT spice to find out when certain times of events occur. So here is a simple uh, RC circuit. So if we run this circuit, you can see right here that it's charging up and then it's discharging, charging up and discharging because we have a pulse. So we want to be able to find out what this rise time is. So we want to calculate the 10% point and the 90% point. So we're going to go in and use dot measure commands to do that. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what the maximum value is. So we're going to do a spice directive and then we're going to do dot measure. We're doing transient. So we'll go ahead and type transient. And then we want to find out the maximum value. And then we are going to go max V of out because we defined the output node right here. Okay, and then after we're done with that, we do control M to get the next line. See, that says that right here. And now we're going to do dot measure. We're still doing a transient and we want to find the 10% point. So we called the variable T10 and now we're trying to find out when something occurs. So we're going to type when and then plug in what we want. So we want V of out is equal to 0 0.1 times the variable that we defined before, which is Vmax. And then we're going to do OK right here, throw that on the screen, and then we run it. And then we're going to do view spice error log right here. And so it says that the maximum voltage right here is 3 volts sometime in this time frame. And then T10 is when V out equals 0.1 times the V max. And this occurs way down here. So that's like this point right over here. Well, let's say I didn't want to get this point. I want to get this point here. So you see this is going to be, and that's called the cross. So this is cross one, cross two, cross three. So if I go in here, and right here, if I type in cross three, that's going to give me not the first cross, but the third cross. So then I run this again and then control L if I want to grab my spice error log. And now it's at 0 0.01. You can see if we grab, let's see if we always want to check and make sure that this is correct. So we're right around this time point. And you see here is the point one. So that's about the right time. So now we want to go and we want to add in the 90% point. So now we're going to Okay, we're going to come here and do control M. We're just going to copy this down. And now we're going to change this to 90. And now we change this to 0.9. Again, we're at the same cross three points. So cross one, cross two, cross three. So we have the 10%, the 90%. Now what we want to do is we want to have LT spice actually subtract those for us. So we're going to do dot measure. We're going to call that the T rise. And now all we're doing is parameters. So we don't want to look at any of the plots. We want to actually use the points that we did. So we're going to call that a parameter. And then we're going to go T90 minus T10. And then we're going to run that. And we look up our spice error log. So here's our max that's 3 volts. It finds the 10% point at this time, the 90% point at this point, and then the T rise is staved where it subtracted these two, and then this is our rise time right here. And that's how we use the win statement. The other thing that we have is we also have a find, and the find is, is if we want to do this win times, but we don't want to calculate time, we want to grab something else. So let's say that I wanted to find out what this current is at one of these points. So we can do that, use a find if you want to do something besides time. So then if we want to do dot measure I 10, and then this is going to be find I of R1 win, and then we're going to do all of these here. 
So we're going to measure, oh, we should do the TRAN, and we're going to store it in I10, and we're going to find I of R1 when this occurs. And so then if we run this, and so this says I of R1 is equal to this value at this time, you see this time was came, came from up here. And that's when, when you use a find statement. So you use a find statement if you want something that is a variable that's not time.